What's up, guys? CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new episode of the Super Friends Podcast, where we're talking about everything, and really anything, DC Comics. I'm joined, as always, by Luke. Hey, guys. And Tim. How's it going, everyone? We actually have a, uh, a some new information about a film that I guess you could say has had a troubled production, uh, The Flash. Now, The Flash solo <laughs> movie. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Flashpoint. The Flashpoint solo movie. Um, the Flashpoint solo movie. Flashpoint, the film. <laughs> not the animated film, the film. Just choose um, a take. Choose a take. This is the take. This is. I mean, it's all one take, but... <laughs> We're doing uh, it live. Flashpoint is kind of... It's had a troubled production because it originally was just the Flash solo movie. Um, originally, it was going to have Seth Graham Smith direct it. Seth Graham Smith drops out. They get Rick Famewa. Rick Famewa drops out. And now they have some new directors... Um, uh, what John Francis Daly, Scott Goldstein, and John Francis Daly, something like that. Um, so they've got. Sure, some, let's go with that. Sure, let's. That's their <laughs> names are some amalgamation of those. They've got these new directors. They seem to be moving in the right direction. Uh, by all accounts, potentially going to film sometime this year, maybe early next, uh, and tentatively going to release in 2020. And as we've moved on, you know, we learned sometime last year that the film was going to be an adaptation of Flashpoint. That was confirmed at SDCC. Uh, we heard some whispers that it was potentially going to be. Justice League 1.5, bringing back, you know, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, um, Ray Fisher, Ben Affleck, potentially, if they could get him back on board, reuniting the entire league, that looks like it's no longer the case. Now, there was a new report from uh, The Hollywood Reporter yesterday, uh, confirming that Dan Mazzo, a writer who previously had worked on um, the Flash solo film, uh, is now going to be working on uh, a new adaptation of Ernest Cline's other book, Armada, not Ready Player One, but uh, another, you know, Ender's Game ripoff by the sounds of it. But uh, the, <laughs> uh, it's, it's uh, kind of an interesting interesting thing because in this article, Kit specifically lists Mizzou's former credits as including things uh, like the Flash solo movie back when it was called Flashpoint. And kind of the way that he just dropped it in there rather than having it be an article unto itself kind of tells me that it's, it's you know, it's well known. In the inside the industry, at least, this is no longer a Flashpoint film. Uh, so it's kind of kind of an interesting situation here. If it's not Flashpoint, uh, you know, what's it going to be? We had heard whispers for a few a few months now that it's potentially going back to uh, a rogues centric film. Uh, a report from that hashtag show back in February kind of hinted that Captain Cold, Heat Wave, and uh, Killer Frost Doctor were going to appear, and Doctor Light was going to appear. So it sounds like the whole rogues potentially. Um, what do you guys think about this? Personally, I think this is the right move for them. I, uh, I I don't think we were quite ready for a Flashpoint yet, and I would love for people to know that there are more Flash stories other than Flashpoint. Um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm in the same boat with that. I'm glad they didn't go straight to Flashpoint. Now, if if this does end up remaining true, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I mean, just getting the whole the whole of the Rogues assembled on screen, I think, is going to be a, a huge opportunity. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's just a better opportunity to explore Flash's world as, you know, just his world, not the entire DC yeah. universe with Flash at the center. That's always been my biggest problem with the Flashpoint movie. We don't just get a Flash movie. We get an entire DC universe movie. That's not what I want. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that the, uh, you know, well, they were probably just thinking in the, in the way that Civil War was kind of like an Avengers 2.5. Well, yeah, uh, we've had, but I mean, we've had it's more... also the third Captain America movie, right? Like first this, one. this would be the first time Flash would be exactly. like on the silver screen. Oh yeah, and I, I also kind of, I, I kind of like this more from a, a, you know, looking at him as a, you know, just in universe, like from that standpoint. Because what we saw in Justice League, I don't think could take on Reverse Flash right now. No. I think that no, you no. see him as a very, God, no. very inexperienced, very powerful, but very inexperienced. And so I think the rogues are almost like they're not at quite training wheels because they should be a threat. They should, you know, that's a, a pretty solid lineup. That's heavy hitters right there. Um, <laughs> yeah. But not quite as heavy a hitter as Reverse Flash. Um, so I, or Professor Zoom or, you know, whichever flavor you prefer. Yeah. I, um, I also just think the whole concept of like time traveler stuff, that's stuff that. That's stuff that you can maybe build up to in subsequent Flash films. You don't need to start the mythos with something, with with the very thing that continues to break and make the mythos even more confusing later on. Like, let's stick, let's stay simple for right now. A bunch of assholes robbing banks in costumes. 
Exactly. So I think that, um, and especially I think part of the reason why they might not have done Flashpoint, we just got done talking about Batman. Nobody really knows what Ben Affleck's feature is in the role. Right, right. Um, it might just be because of the uncertainty surrounding that. You can't really start production on that, on Flashpoint, um, you know, until you have that sorted out. <laughs> right, uh, you can't start production on the blatant reboot button unless you know that yes. you have to reboot. One plus, I think that they, you know, they took some they took some hits and they're they're still trucking. Um, I you know I guess they decided that it would you know maybe it's what they're hearing about Aquaman. Maybe it's the reaction to some of the Wonder Woman two stuff. It seems like they see enough there that they don't want to reboot it right now. Like again, it's uh, not an unsalvageable universe. So I mean, no, not at all. Like if yeah, the solo stuff works fine, you can just build off that. Like again, all you have to do is just not mention Justice League and shit ever again, and you're fine. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. No, no Steppenwolf. Man, I. You know, I, I, I'm i kind of going to be interested to see how they handle all of this now, because I, I think that moving forward, like you said, it's not unsalvageable, but I, you know, if we get a new Batman, what does Justice League 2 look like? You know, does everyone just go, you look different, Bruce? He's like, no, I don't. Shut up. So, so here's the thing. With the rogues, would you want them to bring back in Captain Boomerang? Yes. Yes. Only for the gratuitous nudity, nudity I'm sure, uh, Luke says. <coughs> really interesting situation. Obviously, we'll have to wait to get more details on this uh, in the coming months, the coming weeks, hopefully.